it's time for another retro book unboxing it's the latest uh, release from bitmap books who are becoming a bit like pokemon you've got to collect them all i've removed some of the internal packaging to speed up the reveal but let me reassure you that it was well packed with foam corners protecting the book and actually the book itself was sealed and a lovely postcard of alex kidd reading the compendium itself Dear Becca, we hope you enjoy your copy of Sega Master System the Visual Compendium. It's thanks to your support that this book has become a reality. And unfortunately there was uh, a delay in the book due to a fire that wiped out the first print run, but uh, with insurance, the final book is made. So, every back you get a pair of 3D glasses for certain pages in the book. There was an option of postcards, you see some classic cover art, and then in the tube is a blueprint poster, which I will quickly remove and show you. In the meantime, you can admire the lenticular cover, which has become a feature of bitmap books. Number six in the series of visual companions. The Master System was originally released as the Sega Mark III in Japan in 1985 and was a direct competitor to Nintendo's Famicom home console. The library of games on the Master System is modest in volume but packed full of quality and home to some of video games' most iconic franchises such as Alex Kidd, Fantasy Zone, Shinobi, and Fantasy Star. Sega Master System, a visual compendium, pays tribute to the amazing pixel art, product design, and graphic design associated with this iconic 8 bit system. Spread over 420 pages, Sega Master System, a visual compendium, contains over 150 of the best games, product photography, and a series of features and interviews that cover all aspects of the Master System's lifespan. So here is the, the blueprint. The original Mark I Master System. And now let's take the book out of its slip cover. And as you can see, it's a glorious uh, volume. Sharp that. Introduction, contributors including Junior McNall, a famous games journalist, Paul Davies, Phil South, programmers and former Sega employees, contents, acknowledgements, forward by Mark Sony, now associated with Sony, portrait here in pixels by Craig Stevenson who supplied some wonderful art. Service manual aren't there. It's the blueprint. The icons from the front. It's the Mark III. Hang on, based on the arcade game. Transport or something to extra flash. Teddy Boy. Fushiga no Oshiri Pitpot. Action Fighter, a Sega arcade game that was translated to not only the Master System but home. Machines, Steve Hanawa. And Alex Kidd in Miracle World. As with many bitmap books, there are the foldouts. Black Bell, Gusen Ken. Choplifter. Fascinating series. Started out as a home computer game, transferred to the arcade, then to the consoles. Sega Mark III game cartridge. Sega Mark III is backwards compatible with the previous systems, the SG-1000 and SG-1002. Comical Machine Gun Joe, Fantasy Zone, well-known Sega franchise, Ghost House, The Ninja, more on The Ninja, and Interfere Amuchiro Fuji. Paddle controller, Pro Wrestling, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Snail Maze, 
was incorporated into the original Master System console. Safari Hunt played with the light phaser, Space Harrier, Spy vs. Spy, Super Tennis Strip, Great Tennis, depending on how you knew it, World Grand Prix The Circuit, Astro Warrior, Afterburner, another classic Sega coin up, The Power Base, it's a name for the console in the States, Great Soccer, World Soccer, Alex Kid BMX Trial, Bank Panic, based on the arcade game, Enduro Racer, which uses a, an interesting isometric view on the Master System, Fantasy Zone 2, the tiers of upper, Global Defense, aka SDI in the West, based on Ronald Reagan's Star Wars Strategic Defense Initiative, the Master System Control Pad, Great Volleyball, Kung Fu Kid, Makai Ritsuden, Fantasy Star, the start of the classic role playing series. An interview then with Mark Cerny, who provided the foreword. Worked on several Master System games. Missile Defense 3D, the first of the pages using the 3D glasses. The Segascope 3D glasses using the shutter technology rather than the chromatic technology. And there are eight games compatible, including Outrun 3D and Space Harrier 3D. Speaking of Outrun, Penguin Land, Doki Doki Penguin Land, Uchu, Dab Open. Quartet, another less well known Sega arcade game. Its main uh, claim to fame in the arcades being a four player, similar to Gauntlet. Rocky, based on films. Sega Scope 3D Glasses. Talking about games that are compatible with them and the, the standard 3D games. There's a little logo there to show you. Put on your 3D spectacles now. Woody Pop. Sega My, My Card, so some of the earliest games. Cheaper way of distributing them. Sex on 3D. Gangster Town. And then Zillion. Another spread there. Maze Hunter 3D, another 3D game. Interview Araiko Kodama and the first well-known women in Japanese game development. Worked on Fantasy Star and uh, Alex Kidd. Rambo 3, follow-up. Alex Kidd The Lost Stars, the arcade game. Did make it home on the Master System. Ken Sidon, side scrolling, hack and slash. Vigilante, based on the arcade game. Alien Syndrome, another Sega classic. Zillion 2. Fantasy Zone The Maze, also known as Opa Opa. Miracle Warriors, Seal of the Dark Lord. Aztec Adventure, Nazca 88. And then arcade conversion, so Golden Axe. Hang on, Space Area, Enduro Race, Thunderblade, how those made Jumped Home and Fantasy Zone as we've already seen. Blade Eagle 3D, the control stick. Buttons on the left. Captain Silver. Cyborg Hunter. Double Dragon. Interview with John Sawyer, who was involved in the publicity for Sega Master System in the States. Galactic Protector, Lord of the Sword, Golvelius, Valley of Doom, At One 3D, and you see the blue red bookmark here, the ribbons included with it. Power Strike, okay, Aleste. Rampage, another arcade game. The classic Shinobi, which is slightly different on the Master System with the energy system and power-ups rather than the lives. Solomon and Okaji. Solomon's Key. Space Harrier 3D. The Sports Pad. 
is only compatible with three games, but it includes a trackball controller. Released in North America and Japan. Super Racing. Honda Blade. R-Type. With the Keratops. Poseidon Wars 3D. Altered Beast. More famously connected with the Mega Drive. Stroke Genesis. Bubble Bubble. Spellcaster. Basketball Nightmare. That's good fun. Galaxy Force. Bomberade. California Games. Another good port. Cloudmaster. And then look at some of the hardware. The Mark III console. Paddle controller. The FM sound unit. The telecom pack, which allows you to view television on your master system. Power base, control pad, master system 2, the redesign, the base unit and the control stick that matches. Japanese box for the master system. Master system 2 with Sonic included. 3D glasses, the sports pad, the handle controller, the light phaser and the rapid fire control stick. Dynamite right Ducks, another game making jump in the arcade, the classic Golden Axe. Psycho Fox, very fun platformer. Time Soldiers. Wanted. Supports the light phaser. And there's close up of the phaser itself. Axe Kid and Shinobi World, one of my favourite Master System titles. The cuteness of Axe Kid merged with the Ninjas of Shinobi. Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Columns. Danan, the Jungle Fighter. Dragon Crystal. Interview with Takashi Shoji. Gain Ground. Golf Mania, the handle controller by Hori, the Japanese version. Also works with the Famagon and the Mega Drive because it uses the same 9 pin port. It's not actually analog, it just gives digital commands. Operation Wolf, another light phaser game, snapshot, nice lucky game, submarine attack. Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi, sequel to Shinobi, obviously, Super Monaco Grand Prix, Ultima 4, an interesting conversion, JSHQ, Rotten World, and once again you can see the glorious screenshots and printing quality of this book, Asterix, Sega Chess, the Master System 2 console, the redesign, Banana Brothers, another Sega arcade game that made the jump to home, Golden Axe Warrior, Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald Duck. Interview with Nick Alexander, who was at Virgin Software and then became involved in distributing the Master System in the UK and moved to Sega. Psychic World, it's the uh, close up look of a Master System cartridge. Sonic the Hedgehog. Strider, based on the arcade game. Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2. Some interesting stories around that development. Air Rescue. Lemmings. Good port. New Zealand story. Land of Illusion, the sequel to Castle. Another nice spread there. Master of Darkness. Ninja Gaiden. It's only... Uh, was PAL only, but released under the Ninja Guide name when the arcade game here was known as Shadow Warriors. And then we're on to the section of box art. Looking back at some classic titles, the Cyber Shinobi there. The gold cartridges for Mark III Master System. And back to the games, Putt and Putter. Sonic 2, Tasmania, Buggy Run, Desert Speed Trap starring Roadrun and Wiley Coty, Deep Duck Trouble starring Donald Duck, Dr. Popnik's Bean Bean Machine, a reskin of Poyo Poyo as some people would know it, 
Masters of Combat fighting game, Power Strike 2, the sequel. Rainbow Island, another good port. Renegade. Sonic Chaos. Sonic Spinball. Asterix and Great Rescue. Streets of Rage 2. Disney's Aladdin. A piece about the master system in Brazil. Talking to Tech Toy and Stefano Arnold about how they built consoles under license for Sega in Brazil. G's Catastrophe starring Speedy Gonzalez. Baku Baku Animal. Neat puzzle game. Legend of Illusion. And then a list of the Kickstarter backers. So, and I'm over here on this page. And the thanks at the back of the book. So, Sega gave their support and uh, backing to the book at all stages. And the end result is yet another fantastic Bitmap Books production. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And stay tuned to my channel for more.